So this summer I got a chance to watch the Olympics and I don't know if y'all know, but uh, in high school I was a competitive swimmer. I swam the 500 freestyle and I and the 100 um, freestyle and the 100 breaststroke. When I was in high school, the fastest stroke was freestyle and that was followed by butterfly and that was followed by backstroke and then the the slowest stroke was was breaststroke but today there's actually a fifth stroke that's actually faster than freestyle and i'm going to go over that in this video what is that new stroke so let's talk about freestyle freestyle is um, one arm at a time and the recovery of the arm is out of the water so there's one stroke and then there's another and you're you're rotating your shoulders uh when you rotate your shoulders you get deeper in the water and you're you get a, a bigger stroke and then uh butterfly is first you go down like this and then you go out and then you go like this and then you fling your arms out and you kick and then you do it again. So um, butterfly is, is very much like freestyle except you have a little bit of uh, undulation in the body and you need that to get your shoulders out of the water because it's really hard to get both shoulders out of the water at the same time. I, I'm not as flexible as I used to be. Um, and then backstroke is like, is like freestyle except you're um, leading with your elbow and then you have to get your hand under the water and then and then you go this way um, with your hand and it's it's extremely difficult and then breaststroke is the only stroke where the recovery is is underwater so i i um this is this was the stroke that i did the most i i, I made it to state uh competition in in uh, breaststroke but when i when i was doing it um you'd start out with your hands together almost locking your thumbs and you go out like this and you sweep uh, in like a S shape. And then you would snap your elbows together and shoot your arms forward. Um, today, they don't actually do that. They, they, the, the main thing is that your arms go parallel to the flow of the water. So they're more like, you're more like shooting like this. And you don't have to put your arms together at, uh, like you used to. But anyway, uh, so what is this fifth stroke? Uh, and what is it called? Well, so there's a guy named Brian Lochte, and he started um, doing this underwater uh, dolphin stroke on his back, and uh, he, he, he just, he would do it forever. He would do it like half the, the, the distance of the pool, basically undulating like this. Um, <laughs> And he would he would win all his races. So uh, they actually made a rule and they limited the distance in which you can do a dolphin kick uh, to 15 meters off the wall. So you have to pop out of you can't be underwater after 15 meters. You you have to pop out of the water. And um, so like now the best swimmers in the world are doing dolphin kick. For, for as long as they can, that 15 meters, and they figured out how, how many strokes they can do before they have to pop out of the water uh, and not get DQ'd. So it's very interesting to me that when you analyze the strokes, um, with the frog's stroke, you know, you're, it's kind of like, you know, that's that's basically what, what frogs do. That's what um, uh, ducks do with their feet. So the ducks, they, they their, their feet, they increase the surface area with their feet and then they, they basically fold in half and go forward and they go like this. So it's the same thing, but there's always an underwater forward motion um, of the foot. And so that's not very efficient. Um, and so when you analyze the hand, the hand is kind of like a paddle and the, the hand is almost like, it's complete drag. So basically what you're doing is you're going like this. 
So that's complete drag. You go like this. If you want to devise a device to fall from the sky uh, without killing yourself, and you want it to go as slowly as possible, the first thing people think of is a parachute. So a parachute is basically a big hollow half cylinder. Uh, and um, But if you study parachutes, and you'll find out that they, they fall at uh, 17 miles an hour, basically. And there's another thing that falls out of the sky even slower, and that's a sailplane. And a sailplane uh, will travel 90 miles an hour, and it will go 30 feet sideways for one foot down. So that, that translates to uh, two or three miles an hour that it's falling. So, so what does that mean? It means it's, it's, uh, it's moving more, it's creating more lift, more uh, upward lift. So, so, that, so there's two ways that a paddle can move. A paddle can go like this at a slight angle, almost like a wing. And uh, that's what a propeller is. It's basically a paddle that just keeps spinning like this forever in a circle at a slight angle. It's called the angle of incidence. And it's, you know, quite low. So then I thought about, you know, okay, so, so birds flap their wings like this. They're like wings, but they go up and down, they undulate. And I'm like, uh, okay, so airplanes don't do that. They have a propeller that spins and airplanes are faster than birds. But then I thought about, okay, let's go under the water. And I thought about submarines have propellers as well. Submarines are completely submerged under the water. However, so you would assume that submarines would be so much faster than fish, right? Because airplanes are faster than birds. So then I realized uh, there are fish that can swim faster than submarines. And there are no, uh, submarines don't have fish propulsion. They have propellers. So that got me to thinking, well, maybe, maybe for underwater in uh, a, a better propulsion system to a propeller would be something that operates like a fish, like a dolphin stroke. So I, I did, a, I've already done a lot of experiments uh, with, with, with dolphin motion. Um, I mounted this on a pole and I had an angle limiter so it would, would pivot but it would limit the angle and it created some speed but nice like um, this is not as fast as you know two two big long oars so I was like well why how come a fish is so dang fast if you look at the dolphin they um, they barely even move and yet they're going like 25 miles an hour and they can go you know faster 40 40 or something 45 miles an hour And then there's tuna and then there's sailfish and marlin that go a whole lot faster than that. They go like, I don't know, like 60 miles an hour or something crazy. Anyway, so then I was thinking, well, maybe it's not the, the tail of the fish that does all the work. I actually think it's the body of the fish and the tail of the fish that create the propulsion. So, all right, let's look at the, uh, the motion um, of a fish. Uh, it's kind of like the dolphin kick. Um, however, we don't have tails, we just have feet. And our feet are pretty small. But because we're moving in this 
uh, wave pattern, we're creating propulsion. So where is all that propulsion coming from? Is it coming from the feet or is it also coming from the undul undulation of the body? So the So that is the idea that I am pursuing, that um, there could be something faster than a propeller underwater to propel uh, a watercraft. Um, so that's what this is all about. This, this is a motion study. So this um, I just made this little working prototype. Imagine if this was the shape of a, a dolphin basically and you'd have a tail here and it would have a flexible connection and then you would have also a smaller fin in the front the, the like the, the the front fins of the dolphin which they move but they don't move as much so you could have two of these you could have and it would be almost like um like these uh these wing foils uh where there's a board and there's a, a t t foil mounted to it and you have the, the main wing and then you have the smaller wing and they and you basically pump it with your legs and it goes like this So that was the idea behind this is um, you could attach pedals to this and um, And you could depending on how you gear it you could get, really get this going really fast almost as you know as fast as what a fish would do and I studied the uh, the rates, uh, the undulations per minute of fish, and they're quite astounding how fast they move. Like a black marlin, the tail is like this. So um, you can't really do that when you're pump. I mean, humans can't do that. But if you have gears, uh, you can sit down on a recumbent bike and you can pedal, and then this can go like that. And you can have two of them. And you can have a fuselage and then I thought well what if you uh, what if you add camber to these wings um, then you know you might even be able to lift a boat out of the water um, depending on how much weight there is or even if you lift it partially out of the water um, so anyway um, that's my video for today uh, so the question is is the rotational propeller underwater the fastest form of potential form of propulsion or is there something different is there some kind of fish motion that could be mimicked that is what i'm trying to find out